This is June from Simple Safety Systems. June's been in the painting industry for over 35 years. Now she's going to demonstrate checking electrical equipment before use. Prior to using an extension cord, ensure it is safe to use by performing a visual test on it. Commence at the test tag fastened around the male end of the cord to check that it's current. This is a good starting point because if it's out of date, then this extension cord must immediately be placed out of service. The tag should be fastened at the male end of the cord so that when it's plugged in it's in the user's view. The most important thing is the due date. This will let you know immediately if the cord is able to be used or not. It's a good idea to purchase heavy duty cords that will handle more wear and tear due to the thicker outer insulation. When inspecting the male end of the cord or tool, ensure that the prongs are straight and that they have a fine coating of insulation over the two prongs, active and neutral. Also check that the unit itself is secure, that it has no frayed bits, no burn marks, and that the collar of the unit is secured to the socket outlet, and no insulation showing. At the joining end of the plug, inspect that there is no inner insulation, or coppers to be seen and it is tightly anchored together. At the female end where appliances are plugged in, check the slots are evenly shaped and do not have any burn holes in or around the slots. Again at the joining end of the plug, inspect that there is no inner insulation or coppers to be seen and it's tightly anchored together. Now we're going to look at the length of the cord. It must not be greater than 25 meters. If you can clearly see that the length is not greater than 25 meters, then continue the visual examination. To get an approximate idea of how long one meter is, measure an actual meter on your own body along your arm length. By holding the end of the tape, measure with your arm outstretched and measuring back towards your chest. Take a mental note of that and use this distance over the length of the cord, counting out each metre. This extension lead is just over 8 metres. This step is best left to the end because it will cost you some energy to complete. 25 metres of cord adds up each time you have to test another extension cord. With the use of both your hands and your eyes, Run your hands down the length of the cord in small sections, rotating the cord backwards and forwards as you go. Whilst you're doing this, you're feeling and looking for cuts or burns or melted sections that have gone through the outer insulation to the inner coloured insulation. Rotate the cord 360 degrees as you move down the cord. This part is performed slowly to ensure small but dangerous splits etc are picked up at this stage. This is a typical male plug top where the prongs are slightly crooked with no insulation on the active or neutral. The rim is okay however the collar is split. This means that it is loose and will come away from the plug top itself. This is a typical female socket outlet where one of the slots is a lot bigger than it should be. This could be due to a larger male plug top, perhaps 15 amp earth, which is much larger and not meant for this 10 amp socket outlet. It's been forced into the slot. The next thing to see here is that the inner cables at the collar are exposed. They are exposed due to the person wiring this outlet has cut the length of the inner cables too long in the first place and not checking when the collar was fastened to the unit. This extension lead has a very large cut on the outer insulation, again exposing the inner insulation. The black inner cable is very very close to exposing the copper cables, making this a very dangerous situation. Here is an example of a lead that is pulling too many amps. This situation comes about when you've lent your lead to a friend 
When the French tried to run and apply it's the calls for more current. The end result is that the inner cable is heated up to the extent that the inner cables become warped should the extension cord show any damage it must be immediately reported both on paper and to your supervisor Ow.